Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Friday. Well, today as you can see, we have another unbagging. That means we have another review. Let's find out what is inside this bag. It's quite the bag. It, it seems pretty stiff and thick. All right. Well, we have stamped cross stitch. And this bag comes from Biggest Craft Store. So, um, if Biggest Craft has any specials, or if I have a discount code, I can't remember if I do or don't, um, it'll go right here and also in the description box below. So do check them out. And a little later on, I will tell you about the store. So we're going to go with the first one, and it's a Joy Sunday. It's called The Call of Spring. And I don't know if those are supposed to be crocus or not. So if you know what kind of flower that is, you can put it in the comment section below. And this is a 35 by 37. It was $5.99. Let me get it out of its lovely Joy Sunday bag. Love these bags. You can use them and reuse them. They are not waterproof. They have a hole right here. To allow air to circulate through and around the canvas and the threads so they don't get damp. So, yeah, I thought this was kind of pretty for spring. You got two or half, two halves of a whole egg. I didn't know how to say that. Yeah, with little flowers growing in them and a little pot. Yeah. So, I didn't think it was going to be too big. So, and it's a partial because you do not do the full background on this. So, let's, oh, let me hold it as well, as, or as good as I can. All right. So, it is 154 by 163. It's 154 stitches the short way and 163 high oh my goodness now it does have two sets of two different keys this key goes to the paper pamphlet and the bottom one goes to the canvas because it's going to be kind of small you'll see this in a minute I, i'm seeing it out of the corner of my eye so, how many colors do we have? We have 40 total colors. We have 40 colors in full stitch. We have five colors in half stitch. And we have six colors in back stitch. We have 310 black. Anything else we know? Has 550 purple. And not seeing anything else I know and these colors here are the colors similar to the actual threads so we have 3865 for um, one white and we have B5200 for another one so it's going to have half stitch so maybe some of the background say around not the background one. Well, no. Like the shading down in here is usually in half cross stitch. So that's nice. But I'm not seeing any up more up there. But that doesn't mean anything. So very nice that they put that all together. There's a nice little picture. I like the little blue bowl. I guess maybe they're tulips. But they don't really. They look more like crocus. Don't crocus have bulbs? Another question. Carry on, people. You know what to do. I can't remember. We had crocus when I was little. But they just came up every year. So I never saw anybody dig them up or move them or anything. Very nice pattern. Very nice. Very well done. Very easy to see the uh, the symbols. And the uh, 
back stitching. So there's going to be a little bit of back stitching. There's no French knots involved, but it looks simplified. Do you know what I mean? Just very easy to, to do. And like I said, it's not very big. So let's take a look at those colors. Beautiful colors. We've got some spring colors, you know, in pastels, but others are a little bit darker. Let me just get this apart. And it does come with two needles. One of the product numbers that is uh, on the front of the pattern, you know, front page, is right here. And it says two of two. So there's two thread cards. This is how many number blah, the red color is how many strands you have of it. Then you have your DMC number, and then the number on the very bottom is the number that is on the canvas or on your key. Same with this one, but we have blues, gold, kind of an orangish red, pale, pale pink. See, it goes from pale pink to orange red, pale blue to bright blue, bright greens, purples. So, yeah. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. I think it'll be really pretty when it's done. Let's take a look at the canvas. Now, I wanted to pull out this, so because I'm, you know, I measure it. I always do. All right, kind of goes this way. So, like I said, it's longer up and down. Nice, smooth, uh, surged all the way around canvas. It's fairly thick, and it does say over here 154 by 163, but let me show you this uh, key down here. See how teeny tiny itsy bitsy it is? I can barely make out the, uh, the DMC numbers or the thread card number. I can see that's 33 and 37, but the symbols are fairly good and easy to see. Very nice. But otherwise, it's a little hard to see what number is what. Let's measure this while I got this in my hand. So, it is 35 and a half centimeters or almost 14 inches by 37 centimeters or 14 and a half inches. So it's not too big. Does have some nice big areas to stitch. I don't see a whole bunch of confetti at all. Just kind of a little bit there. And, you know, when it gets to a little more detail, you got a little bit more confetti, but nothing too terrible or horrible to follow. And there's all your half, sorry, there's all your half cross stitches down, like as shading underneath those two eggs and around the bottom of that basket-ish thing. So very nice, 40 colors, wow. So I would say it was well worth $5.99, so yay. All right, I dumped everything on top of everything, so we'll go with this one next. It's another Joy Sunday, and it is part two of a theme that I seem to be collecting. I told you back maybe a month ago that, I don't know if it was a whole month, but a month ago. Sorry, I needed a drink. I was going to start collecting these, and whether I get to them or not, We'll see how it goes. Because I'm still on the first one. Don't, don't get excited that we've even finished. Remotely. No. Still trying to decide what to do with them. Okay, this Joy Sunday comes in a nice bag, just like the last one. It does have instructions on the back. And I'm trying to look. This one is a 36 by 52, and it was $7.99, which is a very good price. I've seen these higher, 
So yeah, I got the Summer Lady. Very nice. She's in greens and golds. So very pretty. 14 count, 36 by 52. But yeah, I think it'll be gorgeous. I like all those greens. And it is 159 stitches wide by 240 high. Has a nice booklet. I'm going to get there. Very well printed. Very nominal back stitching. Because you're going to have a whole lot. I hope this one's a little different. We'll see. The last one that I got came with silver. I'll call it Krynik thread. The silver, you know, shiny stuff. And it had a bunch of back, uh, back stitch. Had a bunch of. French knots. I couldn't think what I wanted to say. So, and it breaks it down. So, one, two, three, four, five, into six pages. So, this is page six. You can see that right there. So, that is this section right here. Page five is that section. Page four, etc. So, very nice. Product numbers and the name. It's going to be a little little confetti? I, I don't know. You know, in this one, I don't know. I'm going to have to look. I was going to say there's not a lot of uh, French knots. I want to turn it over a sec. There are no French knots in this one. None. And that other one's just absolutely full of them. Oh my gosh. So this has full stitch, three quarter stitch, quarter stitch, and back stitch. We have 37 colors total. So 37 in full stitch, four in quarter stitch, two of them in three quarter stitch, and four in back stitching. So kind of thrilled sick that it doesn't have no French knots. I'm just feel so dang left out. I'm going to have to finish the first one because kind of want them all to go together so I don't know if I'll put or how I'll do it but yeah I, I don't know I was thinking that you know see this thing here on the other one there are be not beads there's French knots everywhere but I want to see how they're placed before I place any on this or beads you know it depending on what I want it go through because I still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to use beads or French knots. Okay, let's get out the colors here. And what else is I going to say? The paper pattern on this one, it does not have the extra set of numbers on this. So the paper pattern will not match the canvas. The canvas has its own but look at these beautiful, beautiful colors. We've got dark pur purplish blue, golds, tans, rusts, two needles before I forget. Bright yellow, several shades of green, all the way from grass green to, to uh, dark, dark green, or like this one's kind of a grayish green. So very nicely done. But those purples, oh my goodness. Just absolutely outstanding. I forgot to tell you what colors were in this. Yeah, so I'm not seeing any 3865 or B5200. Words are hard today. My goodness gracious. Let's look here a second. Okay, no 310 black. Let's see, see, see. No 550 purple. Yeah, none of these colors that I've heard of. No 3865. So, but very pretty colors. They all mesh. mesh. It's kind of Celtic, Irish looking, if you will. But I do like the fact that it, they're shades of green. So that will be very pretty. Let's take a look at the canvas. And it goes up and down. So it's pretty close. I don't even know if it's the same size as the other one. But very well printed. It's not confettied. And there's no crinic in this. 
So, I, I got nothing. I'm looking. Hmm. Very odd. So, maybe they just use gold thread. Now, I do have some of that shiny gold thread that I got from somewhere. I could possibly use it on here. Not, not real sure how I want to set it all up. All right, let's see how big it is. 51 centimeters. There we go. Or a little over 20 inches by yeah, uh, mm, 14 and a quarter or 36 centimeters. Actual picture size is, I'm trying to look around because it's kind of got a weird corner over here. So it's about 11 and a half inches or 29 centimeters by approximately about 43 centimeters or 17 inches. So it's pretty close to the last one. I'm just kind of upset that there was no shiny stuff. I have shiny stuff, but yeah. And no French knots. So we'll see. We'll see. Because I do plan on getting them all so that I have the whole set of them, but the um, the key is a lot bigger on this one than the other one, so they're very easy to see symbols, DMC numbers, the number of the thread card, and over here, these are your, I guess those are quarter inch, isn't that what it was? quarter stitch and these are your back stitches these are your three quarter stitches so yeah it'll keep you on your toes but it seems like it's almost simpler than the last one if you will yeah they had to be showy on the first and then the second one is like oh no people you know, losing their minds over these things all right but yeah for seven what did I tell you? Seven ninety nine. I think that's awesome. Cause I I've seen them as upward to ten ninety nine. I'm <clears throat> losing my throat. Ten ninety nine, even twelve or thirteen dollars each. So good price. All right, let me get this out of its bag. All right, I am back. In she out. I just loved her in her little dress, and she got her little basket. I think she's got either flowers or eggs or, or rocks or something. But I think they were eggs. They had several of these with bunnies and squirrels. Maybe foxes. And something else. I can't remember. During Easter time. But I just liked her with her basket. I liked the old fashioned look on the background. And the antique colors. It's just gorgeous. So this comes on a paper pattern. And it's from one of the newer companies. It's 11 count. And $10.99. This is the product number. Let me open it up. Hang on. It's kind of a big sheet after them others. All right. So it does have instructions here. And I'm going to have to get my light up there. So it's fair good size. And at the bottom, let me see if I can move it up in this corner. I'm trying, guys. It says 39 by 59 high, 147 by 233. Very well printed. Don't see any smudges or smears. There's going to be a little bit of confetti from what I can see. But it there's a nice balance. It's not like the whole background is just one color so that's nice we have 32 colors we have 310 black no 550 purple no 823 no 939 we have 938 okay and we have 3770 which is that 
kind of off yellowish color. No, 3771. We have 3865 for the white. So, and that's part of that background up here. And the 323 is that butter color. So, it's a combination between almost white and that butter color. I'll show you them when we look at the threads. But very well done. It's nice and balanced. I like that part. It's going to have... Yeah, I keep looking at this area right in here. A little bit of confetti in there. When you get to the details, that's where your confetti comes in. But know that, you know, the shading will uh, take care of all that and give it definition. Just love it. Oh, she's so cute. All right. This one also comes with a toolkit. Oh, I got an elephant. Do you see him? He's so cute. I've never had an elephant. Yeah. Five needles. Yep, five needles, poop ball, thimble, and needle threader. I'm going to have to put him up somewhere. He's so cute. Let's take a look at the threads. Oh, before we do that, okay, this is something I've started. So, product number here is 6719. 6719. And... 6719, so all three of those match. Let's get this out of the way. Let me get this out of its bag. All right. I am bag back. Jeez. Does come on thread tabs. I'm not sure what they call them, but there is quite a bit. Now, there's those two colors. The white it, on each side is 3865 and that is 3770 so those two colors are going to be the background but it has kind of a bricky red we have golds we have oh dear like a real pale olive greenish color and like a medium olive green dark dark green some browns tans isn't that beautiful? And even a darker brown. So very, very nice. But I like the reds and the oranges. I'm trying to separate them out. Kind of a grayish green. So very pretty and muted colors, some of them. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So there's a lot of thread there. Holy cow. I'm trying not to lose the rubber band because it'll church will be out. It will be everywhere. Just everywhere we don't want it to be. Okay, they'll be crinkling. Put that puppy right back up in there so we don't lose anything in this thing. Man, if I don't do anything else this weekend, I am changing this thing. Let's take a look at the canvas. The canvas is surged all the way around. And it's going to be kind of big. It is kind of stiff, I was going to say first. But nice big key over here. Very easy to read. Let me fold this just a second. Very easy to see symbols. And this canvas will soften down, you know, as you go along. I don't know which one I want to start today. I kind of want to start that summer girl. Kind of push summer right right past spring and let, let's get to summer. I want it to be warmer. But very well printed. Product numbers up here at the top. And the same information down here in that corner. So very nice. Very easy to see. I love 11 count. I really do. It's my first love. Because it's so easy to figure out. You don't have to kind of sit there and analyze and try to figure out what's going on. Some days 14 count, it's just like, it's too much for me. I might as well do counted cross stitch. All right, so it is 59 and a half centimeters or a little over 23 and a quarter inches by, whoops, 39 centimeters, that's what it said, or really close to 15 and a half inches 
actual picture size is a little over 13 inches and almost 33 and a half centimeters by so it's nice lap size uh, 53 and a half centimeters or 21 inches so yeah but I didn't realize the picture would be so big I don't know I kind of had this pictured maybe what is this like 11 by 14 ish size canvas in my brain evidently not a lot bigger than that because I mean this is the the rabbit's head there's his, their ears so yeah it's a lot bigger than I thought objects are bigger than they appear to be in centimeters I, I no, I couldn't make that all come out sorry no because in my brain I can't figure out how big that actually is but very well done so here's that confetti I was talking about just right through in here just a little bit it, it's it's kind of where all the the details are you know and then you got your bigger areas and then your background so yeah I think it'll be cool I really like it just love it I would have loved it more if she had maybe flowers in her basket but I'm glad there's at least flowers in it in the picture so because those look more like you Easter eggs. They actually look like, what do you call it, mushrooms? Like they're growing out of there. But yeah, it's it's just cool. It's different. And it's the only one that I could find. I don't know. The other one had a male and a female rabbit or a male and a female squirrel or whatever or two little kitty type animals. Yeah. I don't know. It, it took a hot moment. So, I was back and forth trying to figure out which one I wanted, and that's the one I settled on. So, that is it, guys, from Biggest Craft. Now, they do have uh, cross-stitch in stamped and counted. They do not have diamond paintings. So, most they have, they mostly have cross-stitch embroidery. Um, they have punch needle supplies. They even have frames, you know, scroll frames. They do have some latch hooking. I don't know if it's just the tools or if they actually have latch kits. But most of it is like needle work, we'll call it, uh, supplies and stuff. Now, like I said, if they have any specials or if I have a discount code, I will put it at the beginning of this video and in the description box below. Thank you, Biggest Craft, for these beautiful kits that I have no idea which one I want to start first. Yeah, here we go again. Decisions, decisions. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.